Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So the encounters around here pretty much still tend to be free EXP. So this mini segment's going to be pretty easy, I think. Well, except for possibly the navigation, but I don't think it'll be that bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's just stick with Mobro. Maybe there's a better option now that I don't have to be completely safe, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I figure I'll use one meteor per battle. No need to be excessive and use more than that, because it'll probably just be one uh, Suriander guy left after that. After the time she gets another turn again, I mean. Anyway, see, something died there. There's not much that can take uh, a meteor with uh, gusto here. The Suriander usually does okay, but... Alright, uh... I think I'm doing fine. Let's just get her out of the way. Something else died from poison, apparently. Is that the end of the fight? Apparently, it is. Might as well use my dried meats. What am I doing? I definitely didn't have anyone die there. One, two, three. Might as well check statuses, though. I don't know if there's anything that can do anything here, but... All the way to the left. This is definitely reminiscent of the actual Phantom Train, where I had a long stretch to the left, but now there's not any ghosts in the way, which is uh, a much welcome to change. And that cutscene uh, makes a noise, which conveniently tells me when I've reached the end of that. Hit the switch once, hit the switch again, grab the chest, Let's take one step to the right, now I go to the bottom. This cart is technically optional, but there's no way I wouldn't choose to do it, because the, there's a couple of treasures in here that are pretty rare stuff. I mean, I don't know, I don't even remember whether the K Kage Nui, I guess it would be pronounced, does anything worth mentioning, but... I don't even remember what it is, to be honest. Not, at least not in the context of Brave New World, anyway. Meteor again. Hopefully that was uh, condemned and not roulette. If that was roulette, somebody just died, and that's just a pain. Although, it clearly wasn't Gogo, if that's the case. It's probably two of those, uh... The, the guys that ride the other guys. I'm not good with names, apparently. I mean, if I was good with names, I probably wouldn't be calling any bosses yellow and blue. <laughs> I don't think anyone took any real hits there. Let's not even bother. Thing is, even if sometimes there's a strategic advantage to be gained by uh, choosing a different move, in Easy scenarios like this one, often it's not even worth the bother of checking. All the way to the left. Did not get another battle there, apparently. All the way to the top. Now, it's nice to note that the train cars are uh, basically two steps from anywhere, and you can line yourself up with the doorway. However, the chest is in the way there, and I don't want to go to the doorway just yet. So I hit the thing. Down, right, right. Well, I definitely did that correctly because I hit a battle there. That's actually kind of convenient, to be honest. Sometimes the battles come at good moments, and sometimes they really don't. Mute is doing nothing to me here. I'm not even 100% sure how much worth... The reflect rings are at this point, but I was just too lazy to mess with my setup and test it all out, so I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to leave them on. Just in case there was something I forgot about that maybe they're useful for a little bit. Meteor their faces off, Realm. The only charge of Meteor I'm going to use is this battle, but as usual, it's going to be pretty darn good. 
See, the Reflectoring would be useful on Terra for that, but not so much for the other two, considering they're both uh, immune to ice. And they're still not doing anything to me, so... Oh, that wasn't a death counter. It's a death counter. That's the only enemy left, apparently. Which means, uh, I don't normally do this during this playthrough, but I'm just going to use abuse in that fast forward key. That, even that wasn't long enough. Held it for several seconds there. Oh, I can actually hear. <laughs> I can hear, I actually can hear the noise. Well, uh, if I, if I could cast a step mine from MP in this game, I just jacked up the cost. But of course I can't, so I didn't. One, two, three. Flame guard will be much appreciated at some point or another, I'm sure. Most appropriate probably when I go to Narsh and I can stack up four ice guards after going here. One, two. Now I go left. And now for... The train car that is a bit of a puzzle in when playing normally. But of course I already know the answer to the puzzle and it becomes something completely different in this run. Or I didn't even make it there somehow. What? Alright down, all the way to the left. I'm hoping I ran outside the first train car, but ended up running into the, a notch for the second one, and now dang it, how did that happen? Alright, let's just do a few iterations of down and up, up, down left and up and left. Hopefully it gets me out of my rut wherever that rut is. Let's try... No. I didn't forget to dismiss that message. going on? What did I miss? Not sure there's much I can do now other than reset. Could run more haphazardly in a random pattern. And hope I make it to the useful spot that I want to make it to. Well, yep. Apparently that works. Good enough. <laughs> When all else fails, just go in the general direction and rely on that to carry you through. Left, up around the table. This room's kind of strange here. Because... It's not so much memorizing it as half figuring it out on the fly again after I already figured it out the first time. Oh, lots of mute flying around. That's probably not going to affect either side much, but it's certainly not affecting my side, so it's not a negative for me at any rate. Most of these thing the things these things can do are not very dangerous. The most dangerous ones are probably that samurai guy, but at the same time, Meteor is a one-hit KO on him, while also half-wiping the rest of the enemies, and... Uh, Bioblast also kills him if Rum's somehow out of commission. For example, if he uses that instant death move that I think I just mentioned. Okay, good. <laughs> Wasn't a death counter for sure that time. Good, I think uh, this battle's over. One, two, three. 
Uh, all the way left. Alright. Down to the table that I know is there. Run left. I hit the boxes. So I gotta go around the boxes. It's kind of easy to visualize this area, which helps a lot. Alright. Hit the switch. The boxes go down. Hello, random treasure chest. All I need to know is that pretty much the only thing I need to really memorize of this area is that here you take one step back to line myself up with the table again. That table is just so conveniently placed it's ridiculous. Alright, so that makes the thing go back in and reveals the oh-so-secret switch over there. That of course I already know about. <laughs> and know how to get to. Okay, puzzle is kinda half solved. I'm going left before I get to the secret switch. Gotta remember that. Don't want to tune out and forget. I heard a pike noise. What enemy is that? I don't even remember what uses a pike noise in here. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That was Terra. I was like, whoa, did something just throw things at everyone? But no. Of course, something being Terra. And things being my own weapons, thankfully. So, double Rain Man, other thing that I don't remember at the bottom of the encounter. Oh, they're all dead. That black belt apparently kicked in. Oops. What am I doing? Item. I've got more than enough dried meats for this. Even despite the fact that my HP is clearly much higher than dried meats are probably intended to be dealing with, but... Alright, secret switch has been hit. Uh, I did grab that chest here, right? Yeah, just making sure. Alright, so... Now we need to go back to the right side. Left. Up. Let's hit that switch. So that unlocks the other switch that I need to move the boxes back in place. Hit the table again. Battle, apparently. I'm going left again. I'm in the same spot I was last time the battle occurred. I'm probably close to running out of meteor charges. High MP on Realm or not. Hooray for Gogo, -Go, dousing those enemies with his poisonous juices of death. That certainly wasn't a death counter, because that certainly wasn't the end of the fight. Surprisingly little death happening as of yet. Oh, that's two enemies down. <coughs> so what are you? Fortunately, I think the Sorianders usually are the last enemies left, not the enemies that death counter with Rasp. So. At least I'm on emulator, so I can use the fast forward button to get out of that, and it's not a restart. Well, that's the end of that. So let's put those boxes back in place, and I think it's time to leave this compartment. Down. Right to the boxes. Up, around the boxes. All the way to the right. Now I can grab this chest down here. Wow, thought it was more steps than that for some reason. But I guess these uh, train cars are pretty narrow. Down, all the way to the left. Only one more puzzle left to solve, and it's not really that tricky. Although I suppose if I were to get all the chests out of whack, I'd be seriously shooting myself in the foot in this playthrough. <laughs> Kind of expected to, to run out of uh, meteor charges here. Let's set up the Osmos, I guess. There's no undead enemies around here. So unlike in Gogo's Cave, I don't need to... Like, part of the reason why Gogo's Cave was such a pain in the butt for Strago and Realm was because there's so many undead enemies around here. Around there that... I can't Osmos safely, which means that I pretty much can't... 
use Strago and Realm without putting a lot of effort into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But here, Realm's in her element. I don't need to worry too much about what the enemies are doing, and she can just start owning them hardcore with her meteors. Is that the end of the fight? Apparently. I feel like I'm using more supplies than I did in my test run, but I'm not 100% certain. Because I was kind of not paying that much attention in my test run either. One, two, three. The only thing I really paid attention to was my level so that I have some sort of baseline on that. Alright, in front of this chest, bottom right, side, top right, in front of the next chest. Now I just gotta hit the switch. All the way to the left. As usual, two steps to line myself up with the exit of the train car. To the left. Now this is the safe point train car. Uh, so... Oh good, no troubles getting into that one like the last one. I was worried that my mistake would repeat itself because I didn't know exactly what went wrong the first time. But, apparently that appears not to be a case. 16 minutes. I'm almost starting to debate putting Rexel in this segment. But he'll be so short otherwise. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Well, I'm getting kind of sleepy now, but I think there's uh, one last gimme segment I can probably finish off for tonight. All the way to the left. One step up, line myself up. I can't enter the door from the side, but I can go around. Now, I was just making fun of, uh... Oops, I was dumb. I walked up farther than I needed to there. I was just making fun of going and hitting the side of a doorway in the other place. But... Uh, <laughs> now it actually just happened to happen there, too, but... Alright, that should be long enough, I think. So yeah, and I'll just menu trick. If I walk during the cutscene, the reason why I'm not uh, waiting until the end of the cutscene to start walking is because those, if I walk during the cutscene, I don't get any encounters during that time. So, might as well shave off some encounters where I can. One step up, all the way to the right. Not that this area is very long in general. Going backwards through the cave ha saves a couple steps over going forward, and it's also easier. Alright, so, this go go, what a pain. Tech Missile, Mimic, and you choose Bolt Beam. Not much to this dungeon, really. Not much strategy I can put into it exactly, but... It's just, use the Magitech they gave me, and... I mean, I guess I could use some of Realm's magic or something, but who cares. I'm just gonna shove some bolt beam and tech missile down their throats and... After all, if I get this shiny new f Magitek armor for a little while, I want to at least use it, whether it's worth using or not. Although I think Realm's the only person who would have any reason not to use it. Gigavolt, I think that was, so... I wouldn't have been surprised if somebody died. Ugh. Skills. Whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. If I die, I die. I lost like two seconds. Don't even care at this point. Same deal here with the cutscene, only here I can't really capitalize on it because getting into this doorway is awkward if I wanna use the easiest movements, so I don't care. All the way up. All the way left. Apparently I got a battle right away. Oh, I wonder... Yeah, it seems to be in... in the exact same sequence as before. I, th I think I got the exact same battles on the exact same steps before. If, uh... 
If I am correct about that, I'm standing one step away from the tile that would end this part. I'm not going to complain though, this gives Gogo an extra level. Oops. And also, bolt using Bolt Beam on the IO is slightly better than Tech Missile. I can finish him off in one round that way. There we go, he's dead. Alright, that's the end of that segment, pretty much. Or rather, mini-segment. I still want to fight Rexel in here. This was so short, it makes up for the length of the last one. Hmm. Turns out that wasn't actually quite enough. Oh yeah, right. Because before I was able to... walk some steps during the cutscene that I didn't there. Or maybe it just did slightly different and things just happen to be very similar. I don't know. You can never tell sometimes. Especially when random elements are involved. Alright, so now I just gotta mash through this cutscene and then the save point will be a couple steps away. Hopefully no battle randomly decides to inject itself into those two steps. That would just be a pain, I think. Especially since my characters probably are missing some HP except for Terra, who I don't really have set up to attack. <laughs> I just boosted her magic with the Omega weapon and stuff like that, just for the Magitek armor. Yeah, you're not tricking me, save point noise. I'm not standing on that save point. At least not yet. There we go. So yeah, five minutes. No big deal. Sitting at 20 minutes now, so I think it's not unreasonable to put Rexel in this segment. Okay, time to... Go fight Rexel, I guess. Seems like a total pain in the butt to me, to be honest, in this playthrough. Most of his attacks, well, the Soul Fires, not his in particular, are worthless against this team because pretty much everything's fire elemental and reflectable. But the the only real problem here is Meteo, which ends up being the real pain in the butt. One, two, three, four, five. That dimension is the same as Figaro, by the way, in case... that. So it's kind of uh, handy to remember. Okay, this is go-go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Just continue with that strat. Doesn't seem to have been working too badly. As much as I kind of don't want to waste her MP before the fight, it's going to be really slow otherwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because Terra doesn't have a lot of offense with just the Soul Saber equipped. I'm actually using Magic Terra as a Magic Terra for this fight, so. Meteor their faces off. Hopefully that went pretty far, because it was pretty costly. Or I could just Osmos, I guess. I might get a chance. Worth a shot, anyhow. Hopefully that recovered my MP. Could have missed it still, but... That guy's dead. Now that I think about it, where did I put my dried meats? I don't think I can heal with those, can I? No one died at any rate, but... I guess I could heal with tonics, I know where those are, but... Seems like a bit of a loss, but... I'm at a loss as to what to do otherwise. Okay, here's the fight itself. The thing about this fight is that when I lose momentum, it kind of crashes down hard. So... If it doesn't go swimmingly, it's gonna go awful. Hello, Shemp. 
This was a really clever idea, I think. Putting Shemp in here. Clever and hilarious, that is. Alright. Goodbye, Shemp. You're dead. Alright, I got my characters in order. So, I know to throw Shadow Skeen with him. Oh, right, you were already on magic. Oh, right, you were already on Osmos. So let's scroll down to the bottom again. Actually, I didn't need to do that, but whatever. Region X on the team. And now Terra can morph. Gogo should come up before Terra finishes morphing. Scroll up to Rage, scroll up to the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 9, 8. Dragon Rage. Uh. Is a video game. Okay, this is Terra. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Gotta pilot the damage as fast as possible. For some reason, he almost always seems to be a troll and... Oops. Have a Soulfire get revived somehow. So, hopefully I get lucky enough that that doesn't happen. That's two counters on Terra. Perhaps I want to use a Region X. Don't want to d dilly dally wasting too much time though. Nice! Nice proc, Gogo. -Go. I need as much of those as possible though, preferably not on the same one over and over again. I suppose that's a little bit demanding to ask for, but whatever. It's probably gonna use Meteo this turn too, so I want Terra to be close to full. Okay, I heard two shield blocks. Alright, that's not good, but actually it's not that bad either. Okay, I'd better have Realm revive Gogo. Oh shoot, I forgot I moved the Phoenix Downs. Don't want to be wasting elixirs and not reviving Gogo. So Gogo's alive for the moment. I could probably throw another storm out there. The soul fires are nowhere close to dead, I'm sure. Hmm. Actually, it's not starting to look good on that front. I can't really cure with Terra because she doesn't have Region X, and that's really my only form of curing here. I think I might just have her defend to get her out of the way more than anything. This should be go go. who I want to be throwing a smoke bomb again. Uh, this should be Realm, and she just revived, so magic. Region X the party, because the party needs it, kinda. Good. You go die in a hole. I don't need you around, you're just messing everything up. Did I already scroll up with her? Sure hope I didn't. This is what I mean about losing momentum. They're probably already getting ready for another uh, Meteo there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I should have reasonably high odds of dodging it, but there's still decent chances that one character will die, really. Or at least get hit by it, not necessarily die. Only Gogo -Go can be killed all the time from full HP. Alright, let's uh, have you dump a re-rise on yourself. Nice! Was that... oh no. That was just a, a fire 3 that reflected off of two people and got shielded by Realm apparently. I'll hover and put re-rise on herself. That'll set her up nicely for later. And 
another holy proc that's going pretty nicely. Best case scenario is generally that I heard one shield block there. Let's uh, use a reach next. Terra's not dead, although if she gets doomy doomed, that could suddenly be wiped out. No, oh, no doomy, no doomy doom. So she's uh, alive right now. I think Go Go's dead. I was wrong. Or. Hmm. I suppose that could. That could have been Go Go attacking and then missing, or. And I missed the miss. Or it may have been a Doomy Doom counter for the its own fire spell. I'm not 100% sure. I'll do the safe and cautious option, I guess. In which case, I need to reach an X as well. I guess I'm playing it a little bit more cautiously on the real run than I tended to on the test runs. Not sure it's been working out badly because of that, but a Meteo could definitely be a run-ender if it happens at the bad moment. Okay, this is Terra. Okay, Gogo's definitely still alive because I didn't have to tell him to rage, so I just wasted a whole pile of time. I misinterpreted the signs there, I guess. Alright, I think I can... They're probably about to use Meteo, though. Maybe I can slip out my Meteor, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I changed my mind, considering Terra just got hit. You do that, Gogo. -Go. I wonder if one's close to dead, because Gogo's been proccing a lot. At the same time, though, it's half a good sign if uh, they're not dying, because it means they might die together at the same time and not get refined by Rexel. Okay, one shield block. Okay. Terra Terra's alive. Realm's alive. Gogo might be dead. Nope, he's not dead. Okay, I definitely want to use Region X this turn. Not that she shouldn't be doing anything else, really. Hopefully Gogo's been spreading out his attacks, because he sure have been doing good damage otherwise. That was worthless. Waste of time. Whatever. I think I might want to Osmos with her. I've been doing things for quite a while without an Osmos, so... Even if she does have MP, I might want to Osmos for later. For the sake of later. Hopefully that connected. Oh, she's out. I'm not 100% sure I want to use elixirs in this battle, but it seems like a painful battle to do, so I, I... While I'm hesitant, I will. Or at least I'll use one, we'll see how it goes. Osmos again. Hopefully she'll definitely have some decent MP after that waste of time. So, cast Storm on those guys. Hopefully they're getting kind of close. But the slower I attack, the more region they get, so it's just... Every inch I give them, they take a mile. Uh. Oh no, Rexol appeared. So somebody died for sure. What was that? Must have been gravity, because there's no way he just left immediately. Okay, Terra doesn't seem to be coming back up, so she must be dead too. That's not good at all. Uh, 
Phoenix Down, Terra. This puts me in a bit of a pickle. Alright, he left again. So he's definitely in Realm this time. That's actually not good. Because Realm can be very easily killed by single target attacks from the Soul Fires once one's dead. So if they don't die together, I could be in extreme trouble. Gotta take Terra's turn first. Phoenix down. On go go. Reach next to keep my party alive. Hopefully, no meteos come and decimate my party at the wrong moment. But there's a good chance that'll happen, so. Huh? Oh, this is go go. So let's have him throw smoke bomb number three. Uh, this is Terra and. She's gonna need to morph. Two shield blocks. It's too bad re-raise doesn't prevent uh, Rexol from coming out. Let's uh, revive Gogo, -Go, who might be dead. Because I heard those shield blocks come up before the Meteo. I wonder if that's a reliable way of telling. Eh, probably not, I guess. Far go go like I think you are, right? Yeah, you definitely seem to be go go. Maybe I was at the top for some reason or didn't notice myself scrolling up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get that damage off, go go. Alright, Terra's morphed. So let's have her cast Storm again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Things are kind of being trusted to luck at this point because they can very easily kill Realm. Whoops. Was I in or item menu? I'm an idiot. Hopefully I didn't waste anything important. At least it clearly wasn't an X Ether and an X Potion, but hopefully it was something dumb like eye drops. Oh, one of them's dead. This is where it's gonna get scary now, because if because the run practically ends if Realm dies now. I'm almost... I almost feel like I'd... almost feel better if I didn't know that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Realm can bust out Flare now for higher amounts of damage. Hopefully this guy will just die from this and... That's that, but the odds are probably... E wow! <laughs> I was about to say the odds are probably slim, but apparently they're less slim than I thought. So maybe being careful paid off after all. Maybe I didn't have to rush it. Taking my time did seem to work out, although then again, I was in a very dangerous situation at the end, so it's partly just lucky that the damage spread out so well from Gogo. -Go. So good work, Gogo. -Go. Believe it or not, it's been a long time since I got a test run to actually work. <laughs> uh, the test runs where I play like I'm blindfolded, although... So, uh, that's the one thing that inches me towards believing that the uh, risky, riskier method was more reliable. So yeah, now I've just gotta wait for this cutscene to be over and hopefully not mess anything up on the way out. Way outs. Well, I need to grab Alexander first, obviously. But he's exactly where Rexol was, so that's not an issue. And I've got no random encounters now. And in fact, I get placed back right on the space that the save point was at the start of the segment, so. Goodbye, science family. I'm starting to actually get worried that I failed to press the record button again. 
that would definitely suck this time around because I don't want to redo this fight at all. I mean, redoing the Stooges was a pain, but at least I felt like I was in control of the Stooges fight so, like, to a ridiculous an extent. I suppose the music will come back up at some point. That'll give me some sort of indication when the cutscene's over. But right now, it's just nothing. Just <laughs> I'm getting absolutely no feedback from the game. Okay. Back on the save point. Or where the save point used to be. Left to the chair. Down and left, line myself with the chair, which lines me up with the door. Now I leave the door, and down and left, just like I did before. Reach this bottom left corner. One, two, three, four, five. It's weird going through here now, after I've uh, already fought the boss, and... Before there were encounters, and now there isn't. So now I run all the way to the bottom. Just gonna put a little bit of safety on this, because I don't want to lose this now. And I have to walk around the pillars. But afterwards the pillars line me up nicely with the door. And now I can leave. So that's it for that segment. 20 minutes for that fight, but it was well worth it. Oh, and Rome gained a level. I guess that might have helped out a little. It at least makes it so that she probably survives media all the time. See you next time.